going to try to explain this without giving away names. Um, we felt there was potentially one player that we would be really, really nervous about fall if we moved out of 11, and then if he if he was there and we, we didn't have the chance to take him. So we, we had to weigh that. Um, that player wasn't there. And then the, uh, the next kind of, as you get to 14, we believed, and Jerry Ford's very, very good at this um, over the years, we believed that there was a group of players that would be available at 14, and we would take the, the one that was highest on our list, which, um, you know, we had, we had Costa inside our, our, our top 10, um, and that's a great thing. When I look back at the last few drafts, when we've, when we've had that situation, it's worked out well for us. So that was the strategy. Also knowing that you gain a second round pick, which is another asset. We're, we're not necessarily trying to accumulate picks. We're trying to get assets to be able to make trades or make our roster better or do whatever we can do to help our team now. Um, which we'll continue to explore and do, I mean, as soon as I leave here. So, um, but that's that's part of the strategy too, not just that, not just the first round pick part, but the asset. When 